How's it going, ladies and gentlemen? Level M Diecast batch review time. This is Matchbox Mix number five for 2024. Uh, this is not a very big batch. Um, we've had some bigger batches earlier this year. This one's a relatively smaller batch. Uh, but we do have a new casting in this batch. It is not this, though. This is the Porsche Cayenne Turbo. Number 27 of 100. This debuted in the Best of Germany series uh, a little over a year ago. Uh, saw it in the Porsche series. We saw it in the basic range as well. And it's already been in premium. So we've had quite a slew of the uh, Cayenne Turbos thus far, which is good. It's a good one. Speaking of that brand new casting, right here, 1974 Bronco, number 29 of 100 in powder blue. Looking absolutely fantastic. Got your little uh, 2024 logo there up in the corner, indicating it's a brand spanking new casting. This one looks particularly nice. Might need a little bit of a wheel swap, potentially, but I think it looks good in the blister. All right, we do have one generic in the mix, the only generic in the mix. This is the Garbage King, number 32 of 100. This is a reoccurring theme. They've done this deco on a couple of models. So your little CD Services uh, green and gray deco is going to... Uh, kind of build as uh, time goes on. Hopefully they don't stray too far away from Ink and uh, Rannick. But uh, for now, let's uh, take another we'll take another uh, theme. All right. Uh, previous mix had this as a super. Uh, this is obviously not the super. This is just the mainline. 2012 BMW 3 Series Touring, number 34 of 100 in gray. Black five spokes on there. Uh, sort of similar for the super, although it had a bunch of... Uh, Yellow and orange decos on there, but it was uh, basically uh, kind of a graphite gray color. So kind of interesting that Matchbox doing that. Normally they uh, have the Super be a completely different model in the mix. All right, 1975 Opel Cadet C GTE. Uh, number 40 of 100. This one in just plain green. Um, I really like the wheels on the card art. I really like the wheels on the card art. Um, I wish they would have used those instead of the small six spokes. Uh, especially with the uh, just the chrome ring on the outside printed. I think that would have been fantastic. But maybe that will change as the year goes on. Maybe this will pop up in a later mix. With the disc hub wheels, you'll never know. Never know. All right, 2004 Mazda RX-8, brand new casting last year in black, now in red. So this one will be pretty standard for a while. I don't think we'll see anything crazy on it for quite some time. But the red one does look pretty good. Probably better than the black one. The black one was pretty basic. All right, last one in the mix. Yes, not a big mix. Like I said, 71 of 100 International Terra Star. This is the ambulance. This is licensed Boeing Fire Ambulance. A lot of stuff going on with Boeing in the in the world these days as of the time of this video. So let's uh, crack these guys open. Take a look at the models. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to kick this off. We're going to choose our... International Terra Star Ambulance to kick it off in Boeing Fire. Um, this is a licensed deco on a licensed casting. Uh, it is plastic body, metal base, uh, black window. There is no interior on this casting, Not nothing new. Um, that's always been the way that this casting was since it was new. Uh, we've seen roughly about six versions of this casting. Uh, we've also seen this in the Thank You Heroes pack uh, that they did many, many years ago during the... Um, whatever you want to call it. Um, but uh, this one's pretty nice. You know, Boeing does have uh, a fire and EMT staff uh, on on call, uh, basically their own fire and EMT staff uh, in their production facilities to handle uh, emergencies, fires, and things like that. So kind of an interesting choice, kind of an interesting little tidbit. I thought that was kind of interesting to learn myself. All right, moving on to the Mazda RX-8. Like I said, debuted in black last year. Um completely bone stock nothing fancy with it no big wings on it no mismatch wheels no nothing just a factory rx8 um, looks good looks good i think the red looks a little bit better than the black probably not as good as i thought it was going to look it just has basic tempos just like the previous one front and rear nothing fancy with their same five spokes on there in chrome but uh it's a good model good model there's an interior in there you can see the interior it's a pretty dark window but there is an interior in there it's it's okay it's okay, I, I I don't know I still think the black one might be just a teeny little bit better just a little bit. All right, moving on to the Opal Cadet, the C GTE uh, to be specific. Uh, this model has kind of been up and down with its tampos. We've only gotten 
I think two decos of this thus far. This might be the third one. Uh, this was also used as a uh, convention model for the Leipzig uh, Toy Show. Um, I do have one of those in the mix. Um, I was pretty fortunate to get one of those from Dirk Schlur. Uh, he is the one that runs the uh, German side of the uh, convention on that side of the pond, so to speak. Uh, this one in kind of this uh, mint, kind of a mint uh, garden green. It's a very cool color, to be honest with you. I think it's super cool. Uh, it says cadet there on the back, prints on the back. It does have prints on the front as well. Um, I think this is perfectly fine. It debuted with some side tampos, but we also got an additional tampo on the rear print for the uh, first edition. But this one looks nice. It looks nice getting some front print on there as well. So I still think it would have been better with the disc cub wheels uh, versus the small six spokes, but it's still uh, a pretty good one. All right, BMW 3 Series Wagon. This was a very interesting choice uh, when Matchbox dropped this. Uh, debuted in white, if I remember correctly. Um, we've seen it in white and black. Actually, maybe it deb debuted in black, but we've seen it in white and black already. It was also a super uh, in the previous case. This guy wants to take off on us. Um, I love the clear window because you can see the nice uh, kind of caramel color interior which looks pretty good. Full front and rear prints on this one. Five spoke wheels looks pretty good. Tampos are pretty straightforward. Um, I think the tail lights turned out really good on this particular version. And then of course it does have plate details on there. So not too bad. E90 might be the uh, might be the uh, chassis code or the uh, model code for this one, but it looks pretty good. Of course you still have that ugly post that goes through the back that's just unfortunately a part of Matchbox cars these days. All right, our only generic in the mix, this is the Trash, or I'm sorry, Garbage King. Uh, this is a modified casting. It was modified quite a few years ago. Um, it's a pretty good one. I think as far as generic goes, this is one of the best generic trash trucks, trucks they've ever done for the main line. Um, it just, it's very realistic. It looks good. It's relatively proportionate. Um, apparently, he wants to take off as well. So apologize about that. Uh, but that theme on the side there is a reoccurring theme. We've seen it on the uh, the uh, little mini street sweeper. Um, and it's going to be on some other models too. we got some stuff coming down the pipeline as well. Uh, maybe some five-pack stuff as well. So if you like uh, reoccurring themes across several models, this is definitely going to be one um, that's going to roll with it. And I think it's pretty good. Although I don't think anybody can ever top Ink or Rannick. That's just my own personal opinion as far as Matchbox goes. All right, Porsche Cayenne Turbo. Um, like I said, we've seen this in quite a few decals already. It's been in black. Uh, we saw it in kind of a lime green in premium in the collector's line earlier this year. Uh, we saw it in red in the uh, Porsche series. Uh, and then we saw it in blue in the main line. So this model's definitely been getting its, uh, its fill. Um, that first debut in black, though, from the... Uh, best of germany set that one was a little bit rough because uh that was really really tough for people in the u.s to get so but it is what it is it's here now uh casting's great decos look good full front rear decos uh black d10s on there the white's not particularly pearlescent it, it may look a little pearlescent with the right uh angles and, and light right like um reflection from the light but uh, it's it's basically just white, just a really glossy white. And it looks good. It looks good. I do like it a lot. It's a good color. All right, last one in the mix. That is the brand spanking new casting. Save that one for last because it is definitely the best one in the mix. I'm uh, thoroughly impressed with this Bronco, 1970 Bronco. Um, it's nice and wide. And it's not like Tyco era wide. But it's just normal matchbox wide. It's not this little tiny skinny thing. Um, it's very nicely proportionate. It looks really, really good. Probably not going to be very well sized to a lot of other matchbox. But for what it is, it looks fantastic. Wheels are a little bit on the smaller side. But I think that they can get away with that. Uh, with basically just saying it's, it's, a, it's a base model. Basically uh, Bronco. The top and stuff is all part of the casting. It's all one piece, so no no potential removal or or popping the top off or nothing. They do have that ugly uh, post through the back as well. Full tampos on the back, full tampos on the front. I do like the fact that they chose white print for the hubs. Chrome base on this one, really, really good. Really, really good. Did a great job on this one. 
Matchbox is definitely, definitely doing some good stuff. This is a brand new Castings. We'll take out our man number. 1432 is the man number on this one. There is your base deeds S51 day code for this particular mix. So we're going to roll out with that, guys. So that is mix number five for the year. Moving on to mix number six. Mix number six does have a red edition. So when that one rolls through, we'll have that for you. But until then, appreciate you guys. Thank you for checking out the batch reviews. We'll cover this all the rest of the year. We'll catch you next time here on Level M. Peace.